What's up gamers? This might be a very interesting video for the people who are trying to decide what to do with the Sly 2080 Ti connection in the light of the upcoming 3080 Ti. Whenever it's gonna happen, nobody knows. You know, we've seen all kinds of rumors and blah blah blah. Well, they're all rumors. Nvidia is very good at uh, keeping secrets. So, we have here Watch Dogs 2 launched in 2016, tested in 4K resolution, all ultra, no AA because to be honest, there's no point um, applying quality settings in 4K resolution, but this is a different discussion. Uh, I've tried to make everything possible to get the decent frame rate with the infamous Frustrum Trace Shadows enabled because it makes the game look so freaking realistic. Uh, so that's enabled, that's a shadow, uh, shadow, whatever, option, what, image, shadow, quality, whatever. Okay, uh, as you all know, there's no point enabling the slide connection for Watch Dogs 2 because um, this game is not slide capable, so as soon as you enable slide, your performance actually drops. So it's better just to play it with a single GPU and it's good for our comparison as well because you'll see what I'm uh, what I'm heading with this. Um, good. What else? Well this is why many of you want to get rid of this, uh, this second card. I might do that as well but then I look in the right hand side and I see GTA 5 that shows us what it could be if a big if Nvidia will make Sly relevant again and it's a big if. This is very hard uh, it's very hard to believe that a single 3080 Ti will be able to run let's say Cyberpunk 2077 uh, in 4k all ultra better than two 2080 Ti's. Um, if the game is uh, sly capable, of course, and uh, this is the first uh, this is the first example that uh, it came to my mind. But there are other games as well. You can consider like uh, I don't know um, the other infamous in infamous um, how you call it Crisis Remastered. So think of that. Will be 3080 Ti capable of uh, running that game? by itself in 4k all ultra but when i'm saying all ultra like quality settings as well will that gpu be able to do that by itself i don't think so not better anyway not better than uh, than this kind of connection so looking at these two games side by side um i must admit i have mixed uh, mixed feelings about giving up the the slide I know what is logical to do, but the decision is hard to take because I look in the right and I see uh, I see the potential. Anyway, uh, I hope I will find uh, I will find an answer till the and we will see then uh, what is truly capable of and uh, we will take the we will take a decision. Also, defending this uh, connection, I could mention the amazing performance in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, and Jedi Fallen Order that uh, truly surprised me in a very pleasant way. So, the possibility exists, but the key is, the key is uh, held by the game developers and Nvidia as well. Me as a consumer, I want to enjoy uh, to, un to enjoy both uh, both products. I know we are not a uh, very representative uh, margin, but uh, we do exist. And uh, after, uh, let's be honest, after after many many uh, years, uh, maybe now is the best time to make this uh, slide relevant again. Having all these uh, AAA titles uh, coming in the upcoming uh, months. So we'll see what's gonna happen. I still have time to to take a decision, to make a decision. And um, if uh, if in the pre in the in the previous video I was saying that I'm um, leaning towards uh, 
selling one of the cards and um, you know just add a difference whatever it might be for a second uh, for for the 3080 ti and with the second 2080 ti just to build another system um, now looking at this uh, looking at these images i'm not so convinced anymore because as i was saying earlier uh, i see the potential and um, when you look at the I don't know in the settings in GTA 5 and you see that you have 22 gigs of VRAM and uh, you know the potential of uh, overclock of the 2080 Ti and overclock in slide it's absolutely uh, this this graphic card is it's a beast it's a beast and uh, yeah there's a huge potential out there and it has to be exploited for I don't know at least at least half a year also because I have so this this card was released in 2018 in September if I remember well and in November I had uh, I had my first one after two months I bought the second one so I have a year something probably uh, I will have a two years in uh, September in November 2020 this year so two years with the graphic card I think is a decent amount of time but I could squeeze another let's say six months out of it if it's a big if if the slide connection will be relevant and I'm hoping I'm putting my uh, my trust in in the game developers and uh, we'll see what you know, we'll see what's gonna happen and the decision will be based on uh, real uh, real facts well that was it thank you for watching and uh, you know stay safe stay indoors and uh, take care see you in the see you in the next video thank you bye bye